Guys, got it? Yes, right, hard work on three, sprint to the next spot. Ready? One, two, three, hard, hard work. work. Sprint to the next spot. Don't walk. Get there, get there, get there, get there. I'm Rick Lewis with Phenon Hoop Report. We're here at the JMAC Showcase at Fort Mill, South Carolina. Um, my guest coach here today is Lee Moore with the Greensboro Warriors. Um, Lee, tell us a little about the program and what your role is with the organization. Absolutely. The Warriors started about 25 years ago by a gentleman by the name of Mike Harris. Um, he has since passed. Uh, it was broken up into different pods. We had about four different teams in the city. Um, coach Williams and I came aboard. We kind of merged the teams back together. Right. Um, and then from there, we broke it down to one team. We started to grow. And then we have 14 teams. So we go from age third grade through unsigned seniors. Try to give everyone in the area and try to give a chance to play basketball somewhere. We have multiple teams in each age division. Um, so therefore, we got an A and a B team going that way. Um, I guess, so that's where I, we're at. I remember um, back in 2002, 2003, 2004, I was coaching the Carolina Flight. Okay. Okay. And, um, one of the teams that we always played against that was sort of a rival yep. was the Greensboro Warriors. And at that time, they had P.J. Harrison. Absolutely. Absolutely. And we were rivals, but we also became good friends. When we went to the Nationals, we always pulled for each other. And we developed that bond over the years. When P.J. was playing, uh, I think it was 9, 10, and 11 years old. Yep. And then um, I think at age 12, P.J. came and played for the flight for a little bit before he went on to bigger and, and um, better things. But uh, that being said, the one thing I always admired about the Greensboro Warriors, it's a local grassroots organization. Absolutely. Um, I would say 90% or more of your players are from where? Greensboro. Greensboro. Absolutely. It, it's very hard today to find a organization that really centers around the geographic city that they're from. Because you, nowadays you're got all these grassroots teams and, and shoe circuit teams, they gravitate players from all regions of the state or they go out and get kids from multiple states. But your organization serves the city of Greensboro. Absolutely. Absolutely. Talk a little bit more about your process and thought process and thinking behind all that as far as where you want to go in the future with the organization. We always want to grow. And again, we started with one team, then it grew to three, five, and then we're back at 14 teams. It, it kind of broke apart when CP3 and Team Felton came right. along, so some of the better kids went that route, so we kept it going. So grassroots, for real, we started it. Teams wasn't that good. We kept building, kept building, kept building, kept building. Mm -hmm. um, where we headed in the future, um, the sky's the limit for us. Again, we, we don't have a shoe contract. Right. We have we have tried to, on the shoe circuit, but we, we like the family niche that right. we have and the camaraderie that we have. Um, and so we're going to stay local. Right. We, we may have one or two kids from Burlington right. or from Durham area, but most, but 90% of our kids are right here in Greensboro. Particularly what we do, we have a Sunday workout in January where we bring in, we invite all kids from the city to come in. They're interested in playing. Right. We have a place for them to play. They got other teams to play on. That's fine too. But that's how we introduce ourselves to the community and go from there. Well, the, the good thing about having a local organization and team from the Greensboro area, it allows you to have practice time. Absolutely. That's Absolutely. important. That's a big key. Absolutely. Um, a lot of teams don't have that luxury. Absolutely. Now, a lot of people don't think nowadays that you can have scholarship ready players at a local grassroots organization. But this year, you have one player and Emil Flowers. Yes, sir. Now, his recruitment has just skyrocketed. Tell yes. us a little bit about Emil, the process that's gone into his recruitment. Yep. Where his recruitment stands today and moving forward with him. So Emil's a story I can tell because when Emil wasn't as highly touted as he right. is now, he came up through our program, his mother always said she would stay loyal to us. Right. When Emil was in the eighth grade, he wasn't quite good enough to play on our A team to play on our B team. His mom didn't move him. I said, let him play on the B team right. get some confidence. He got the confidence. He came back up to the A-team as, as a freshman, and from right. there he's just blossomed to where he is today. So now he's getting recruited from Western Carolina, from Elon. We had a call from Marquette last week about him, Mars Hill. And now the kids just, the confidence is, is at a different level. His overall demeanor is at a di di different level. So if you stay committed to a program, right. and if you, if the, the, again, like you said, the, 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 the two practices per week plays a right. factor. Um, having the same teammates plays a factor. So if you can stay committed to a program and not jump, you will get the opportunity right. as Emil Flowers has. Well, I think I can um, dovetail on what you just said about Emil. We saw him at our Phenom 150 camp, and he played extremely well. Yes, sir. 
Um, we saw him in high school. He earned an invitation to the North Carolina Top 80. Um, he was definitely on our radar. Um, he had a great top 80, yes, sir. which against the top players in the state. Yes, sir. That even made a more, you know, foundation with us that this kid can play at that next level. Yes, sir. I know you, um, you guys participated in the Phenon Challenge in Spartanburg during the first lap period. Yes, sir. Um, there was baseline of coaches, and yes, I think from that event, he picked up his first offer from Western Carolina. Yes, sir. Um, since then, Elon's offered. Yes, sir. Mars Hills offered. Mars Hills. You got calls from ECU, VTech, Marquette. And it came from your tournament, honestly, because after, after that Sunday event, once we were done, that Monday I got called from 5D1 coaches about a meal that was at your event. Well, so thank it came you. it came from your event, so I owe you a great guy, gratitude that Mill does too. And it's just not about a meal. I mean, we have a kid, Brandon Thomas from right. Northwest. We have Jordan Williams from Smith High School. We got Khalid Hines from Smith High School. All those kids should garner something and when they come to your event in July, which we're excited about. So um, it takes a team effort. Absolutely. Yeah, and the Troutman kid just signed with? Yeah, with Bluefield, Bluefield. on the unsigned senior team. Yes, sir. Right. I think the most important thing we can take from this is an organization such as the Greensboro Warriors can really cater to the kids in that area. Absolutely. But the, the also the other message I think we can take from this is if players just believe in the process, yes, sir. and just look at Emil Flowers for a great example. Here's a kid, like you said, played in your organization yes, as an eighth grader. Yes, sir. Well, he, well, he started as a sixth grader. Started as a sixth started grader. As a sixth grader. But even on the eighth grade, didn't make your eighteen. Eighteen. Yes, sir. Since then, he stayed loyal to the process. Yes, sir. Didn't jump around. Didn't quit. Stayed loyal to the organization. Yes, sir. And now, he's going to be one of the hottest prospects. Absolutely. In the state. And I guarantee you, coaches, if you really want to see a kid that can play at the mid to high major level, be sure to check out Emil Flowers and the Green, Greensboro Warriors. Now, um, I believe you guys are going to be coming to the first two days yes, sir. of the, the, the Phenon Summer um, Havoc. Yes, sir. And then you're going to travel down to the, uh, the beach and play in Big Shot. Yes, sir. That's, so, that's um, our plan. Yes, sir. Well, that, that's, a good, that's a good plan. And I might want to join you on the, the second part and head down to the beach. But uh, I do want to say thank you. I think um, you have a great story to tell to a lot of the young players in the Greensboro area that you guys have 13 teams at every age, 14 teams yes, sir. at every age level, yes, sir. and you can grow and develop Absolutely. along the way. I, I greatly, we, we appreciate you. You're local with us. Um, you put a lot of our players on the map, so we owe Phenom Who Report a, a, a great deal of gratitude. So we're thankful for you as well, Rick. Thank you. Appreciate right, thank it. You, sir. Appreciate Take it. care. All right. You guys got it? Yes, right, hard work on three, sprint to the next spot. Ready? One, two, three. Hard, hard work. work. Sprint to the next spot. Don't walk. Get there. Get there. Get there. Get there.